I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Blackbeard the Pirate. I take one finger right here in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I go curve line up on the right, come back to the dot, curve line up on the left. Come back to the right and we're just going to draw a curve line down, straight line out, big curve line and leave it floating. Come over here on the left, we're going to draw curve line down, straight line out, straight line in, big curve line down, and leave it floating. We come back over here to the right, and we're just going to draw a big curve line up, over, down, connect. We come right here in the center and we go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Come on the right hand, left hand side and we're going to go one straight line, two straight lines, three straight lines on the left. Come to the right, put a dot, one straight line, two straight lines, three straight lines on the left. Right here in the center, one two straight diagonal lines. Underneath, curve line, curve line, curve line, leave it floating. Now, we come back to the right and we're just going to draw straight diagonal down, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, straight diagonal down, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, connect. Right about here on the left, we're going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. On the left, come over here, jump over on the right, zigzag, 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 and leave it floating. Right towards the center. Zigzag, 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 connect. And now we're going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. And now we're going to mimic that line, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Right here in the center, one, two, curve lines, little curve line inside. Now, Starting right about here, we're going to draw a straight line out, zigzag, 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 connect, straight line out, zigzag, 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 connect, straight line down, zigzag, 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 connect. Jump over to the left, straight line down, zigzag, 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 connect, straight line out, zigzag, 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 connect. On the upper left corner, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line, straight line, slightly curve line, straight line, up, connect. One, two straight lines. One, two little straight lines. Baby rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Let's do two diagonals, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. Jump over to the right hand side. Curve line, straight line, slightly curved line, straight line up, connect. One, two straight lines, little straight lines. Baby rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line inside. I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, what you have to recognize is that Blackbeard the Pirate was a wild man. So we're going to do red-orange on all of these tips. 
because what he would do is he would put lighted matches in his beard, that black beard, to scare off his opponent. So those we're going to make red orange. Then we're going to come in and do this space pink. Now, if you have multicultural crayons, we're going to color this space. I think this is mahogany. I'm not sure. One of my browns. And we're going to color this space with my um, multicultural crayons. Now, we're going to take our black and we're just going to kind of come in on all of this mustache and f he's got a crazy beard. All of this is going to be black. This is all going to be black. And I'm going to try and go in the direction that the beard is drawn. So all those up, down, zigzags. You can have your crayon mark the space and add to the texture of his beard by following what we all already drew as guidelines. So this is all black. Then this little section inside his space right here should also be dark black. Now, his whole entire space here also needs to be black. So you've got a lot of black going on. So you want to make sure that if you do black, you do gradations of black. Now this should be more of a solid black. Mine kind of looks like the beard still. That's because I've really got to work on this a little bit better to make it darker. So that you can see this is different than all the other parts. So I'm going to outline this a little bit darker so you can see it differentiate from his beard. That's why it's kind of important to have the crayon color go up, down, up, down on his beard to give you a little bit of variation. Now, because almost everything he did was kind of crazy, I'm going to add, this is like smoke. So I'm just doing loop-de-loops in the background with gray. So you can imagine if you're in the middle of a ship fight going on and you see this guy coming towards you, he would be very scary. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Blackbeard, the pirate, all colored in. He was active during the 1700s. Across, um, on the eastern coast and terrorized Britain's North American colonies in the West Indies. Okay, bye-bye.